what's up everybody so this time I'm filming the intro myself and I have another training video with Yi Jin Tom Fung uh, training at Ping Pod and this lesson I took uh, right before I played the 2023 US Open tournament in Ontario California so we worked a lot on game tactics uh, so I have a second part to this video coming out but in this video, we covered uh, different combinations when you get into a backhand rally. Uh, so, like always, I'll have the timestamps listed, so feel free to browse around. Um, and I also want to link to Tom's YouTube channel uh, over here. Um, he started his own channel, so if you want to show support, go ahead and uh, go watch him there. All right. Something that happens during games for a player like me is getting into backhand rallies with the opponent. In the event that your backhand isn't strong enough to beat them in the rally, there are two combinations that you can use. One, is to go down the line, and two, is to step around or pivot and use forehand for a more powerful attack. If you are planning to change direction to go down the line while in the backhand rally, make sure there is enough distance between your paddle and the ball. I think of it as hitting slightly earlier. If you decide to step around to play a forehand from the backhand corner during the rally, Tom suggests to use more power. The forehand should have more contact with the ball and not as much of a brush. This is so the shot is more difficult to block by the opponent as you want to try to win the point outright. You can hear the difference in sound during his demonstration. Tom mentions when you step around for forehand, be cognizant of the amount of space between your body and the table. You want to give yourself enough space from the table to be able to contact the ball and not get jammed. Also with enough space, you can throw the force of your body forward for more power. Additionally, with space, you will have more time to wait and react to the ball.
Tom mentions if the opponent happens to block the first forehand attack after you pivot, try to use more spin for the second shot to be safe. If that shot comes back then you can add power again. To backhand flick, make sure you wait to see the depth of the ball first. If it is half long, you don't need to step into the table. If you step in too early and the serve is long, you won't have enough space to properly flick. You should also not lean too forward when you backhand flick. You actually want your weight directly under your body so that you are balanced. If you plan to pivot, don't stay in the backhand rally too long as it will give your opponent more opportunity to take initiative. 